Good morning, day four and the 4th of July and we are still camping in Olympic National Park, Hurricane Ridge at Heart of the Hills, just like filet o fish I'm having a rough morning, bad headache today, just trying to get ready and get out of here. Jerry's having his second cup of coffee. I wanted to show you this thing. This is my new best friend. I take it with me everywhere. This is the Thermacell. I do believe they sell it on Amazon, so I will link it in the description below. It is supposed to keep the mosquitoes away. It has these packets of the chemical that it, more like a scent that it puts out, seems like. It uh, is lit by butane, so you don't have to have batteries. And you can check how full your butane is here. It's got a level. This is where you um, pull it out to replace the butane. This, these replace really easily. You just slide the new one in, so it works great. There's a little light in there. That means the butane's burning. It's burning this packet, so it just fits right here in the cup thing. I love this thing. <laughs> I keep it by me at all times. In fact, when I walked over to the truck, I could hear the mosquitoes around my head. Came back over to this thing, no mosquitoes. We were just discussing that it's got something to put it on your belt so you could have it with you all the time. And so this is uh, working for me to keep the mosquitoes away without having to put DEET on. However, Jerry doesn't mind the DEET. So he's not as concerned about having the little thingy-majig around him all the time. And he gets bit by bugs worse than me. And he gets welts afterwards. I don't get welts. I, however, hate mosquitoes enough to give up and go home. So having this makes me enjoy my campsite much more. This thing's really cool. It's really easy to start to. You just turn it on. The butane starts going and then you use this igniter three to five times and it ignites. New technology to me. You see how it's blue? And when the blue gets lighter, that's when you know it's time to change it. However, I gotta say the butane went for a long time. I've only changed it once. Here is the plan for today. I got a map. So this is a map of the Olympic National Park. We are right here at Heart of the Hills. We are going to go down into Port Angeles, go across town and get on 112 and start exploring the Strait of Juan de Fuca. So that's the water between the Pacific Ocean and over here where's the uh, Puget Sound, what we live on is the Puget Sound. So this is the Strait of Juan de Fuca and we are going to explore all these stops along the way. We've packed all of our food so that we can eat. We are not going to make it out to the Macaw Indian Reservation because it's this and the Native American tribes have not opened up every reservation. We'll see how far we make it. One interesting thing about camping from the truck is that we take almost everything with us whenever we go so we can stop and cook or sleep or anything wherever we're at because we're just leaving behind at the campsite, you know, the tablecloth and the pop-up. It gives us a little more flexibility than someday when we have a trailer and we're leaving the trailer behind with all of our food and stuff in it. And I did buy a new tablecloth on Amazon Prime Day and it is working out fabulously. It's the biggest one they had, so it fits over this giant concrete picnic table that they have here in the park. So it's pretty cool. I'll link it down in the description. You too could own this. It uh, is vinyl on both sides, so I don't have to worry about it collecting gunk underneath. So we don't even have to clean off the table first. We just put it down and flip it and clean it and get out of here. It's pretty cool. It's relatively heavy. Yeah, it's not like buying a dollar tablecloth at the <laughs> Dollar no, Tree. I mean, it, not that it wouldn't blow off in the wind, but it would take a pretty good wind to blow it away. Yeah, it doesn't feel all flimsy. It's not going to get holes in it very fast. Like the other tablecloth had a bunch of holes in it. Uh, oops. No public 
access. No public access. I think we've been turned back. Mm -hmm. You can almost see it too. No. Oh You're well. Welcome. Here. We tried. We are at Freshwater Bay County Park, looking at the Strait of Juan de Fuca. We stopped at Murdoch Beach. Always closed, so we pulled off here to make lunch. We're cooking on the back of the truck. It kind of takes some unpacking. <laughs> I just prepped all the veggies. Oh, it's so heavy. Those are all our leftovers from last night. That's where we were going, but the road was closed. I think it might be one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. <laughs> That's a sight for sore eyes with every door open, the thing up the top open, all of our junk out. Can you believe this? It's <laughs> another road meal. That works. And now that I've eaten, I feel sick, which <clears throat> I've felt sick after every meal since the 1st of March, and we're at the 4th of July. We got to the crossroads and Jerry decided we should try to still make it to Pillar Point even though the road was closed. So we're trying to drive around. We got to see Lake Crescent on the way. We drove all the way around the closed road and made it back to Pillar Point, which was our goal. It was a 
hour and a half detour, but here we are. There's Pillar Point. This is the Strait of Juan de Fuca. Those mountains are Vancouver Island in Canada. And this area here is the way that we were driving where the road was closed and we stopped and ate our dinner. Hey! Woohoo! I see you. I think you're Baker. Not no. I'm not a real deer. Strong, silent type. He's really holding still. Watch another travel video here or check out this video down below that YouTube picked out just for you.